Tracking President Trump's first 100 days in office and reportedly <laughs> leaked documents show promise for a solution to the Brent Spence Bridge. Those documents appear to be Trump's preliminary plans to revamp infrastructure across the U.S. And second on that list is, in fact, the Brent Spence Bridge. Now, nine on your side's Roseanne Aragon spoke with business owners and leaders about what the potential project could look like. Roseanne, what they have to say? Again, that potential project would create thousands of jobs. So we went to experts and asked them, what would that plan look like? And what is the actuality that it is likely to happen? This bridge is quite old. If you got up underneath it, you can see where it's deteriorating. Steve Morrison works just under the Bren Spence. Rusk Heating and Cooling has been in business for the last 150 plus years. Enough to hear the last decade of promise after promise to fix the bridge. Help us rebuild this bridge. Help us rebuild America. From President Obama's unsuccessful jobs bill in 2011 to Governor Kasich and Governor Bashir's dual state funded plan. Do something that needs to be done. Every month we delay building these bridges and building these interstates is going to cost the taxpayers. The bridge and its corridor remain untouched. What was once a vision in 1963 has turned into a nightmare. When the bridge was originally constructed, it had three lanes and a four foot shoulder. But today, it has four lanes. And promise has been met with more promise. And replacing the Brent Spence Bridge. New leaked documents obtained and reported by McClatchy's Kansas City Star shows the bridge is a top priority. While the White House maintains these are not official White House documents, the Star reports these documents were circulated in the gubernatorial, business, and congressional community, one of them showing the Brent Spence as number two of 50 emergency and national security projects. Documents show it would be a $2.5 billion project creating 2,200 local jobs. It would also be funded by both private and public funds. We ask experts how that would likely work. A private entity goes in and actually builds the bridge, and then uh, they put the tolls on the bridge, and they get paid their profit through the tolls. However, will Trump's promise be any different than the last? Keene says because Republicans control Congress, there's a definite chance, but... You have to use tolls, and with the toll legislation, that's pretty dicey here in northern Kentucky, and, and that would put probably a lot of uh, my colleagues in a very uh, hard position to vote for. Hard for everyone. Tolling just seems like another tax to me. As of now, you can't legally toll the bridge. You have to ask our colleagues throughout the state to say, hey, you know, we want to change the law to, for us. And if we're not in favor of it, if we're not in overwhelmingly uh, for tolls, then they're, they're not going to vote with us, that's for sure. Ohio Congressman Warren Davidson chimed in saying while plans are great, he's looking to action and more details from local, state and federal leaders. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side. All right.